Hi viewers, welcome to Metallurgy with AJR. Here I am going to meet you with a new concept that is decoding of mechanical failures just by visual examination of fracture surface. How is it possible? When a material fails into two halves, there are two fracture surfaces. And these two fracture surfaces are examined visually for the various fracture features. So, what are these fracture features? You are getting beach marks in the case of fitting. You are getting chivran pattern in the case of a rapid fracture. So, these type of features will give information regarding the nature of fracture. Now we can see how the decoding is being done. Decoding is done by visual examination of fractured surface with the knowledge of mechanical metallurgy revealing loading conditions and environment that caused the fracture by a three dimensional interpretation of the appearance of broken component without the aid of the microscope. Here the mode of fracture and its origin can be interpreted. The origin is then analyzed for any possible defects such as inclusions, manufacturing defect like pinholes, open blows, laps, folds, scabs or any surface discontinuity. The possible root causes of mechanical failure Inappropriate use Unanticipated operating environment leading to corrosion or wear, improper prior fabrication, improper or inadequate design, inadequate maintenance and repair, design mistakes like inadequate stress analysis, alloy selection, improper mechanical thermal processing, heat treatment, improper assembly, Failure to accommodate an adverse operating environment. This is the fracture surface of a fatigue fracture. The, you can see the point of initiation. The point of initiation has got a small crack of length uh, about around 2 mm or 3 mm. And from there it starts propagating. You can see the beach marks. The beach marks are the. You can see the beach marks. They are from the initiation site. And then they converge again to collapse into a fast fracture. Fatigue fracture in springs. Here you can see a dent in the spring. This produces a fatigue crack. There are two fatigue cracks meeting at the ratchet. So ratchet is the midpoint of the two converging fatigue cracks. So there are two fatigue cracks, fatigue crack 1 and fatigue crack 2. They both converge to form a ratchet. So this is the ratchet. See you can see the ratchet here. The convergence of two fatty cracks. Then afterwards the spring cannot no longer bear the load. So afterwards the spring fractures with a chivran pattern. So chivran pattern is a fast fracture. And also at the ends you can see shear lips. That means the loading conditions are very very high when the loading conditions are very high then you can say that the fracture will be converted from the chivran pattern to the shear mode this is a case of fatigue fracture initiated from a crack on the spring a crack got unnoticed and this crack has initiated a fatigue crack. This fatigue crack is of very high magnitude 
and the rest of the surface is a fast chevron pattern so normally in springs the surface property is very very important the surface must be without any cracks or surface blemishes or any manufacturing defects like laps seams etc this is also another case of a fatty crack propagating in a spring from a small crack see here you can see a very small crack this is a small crack is there this got unnoticed so now there are three fatty crack initiation from that particular crack point fatty initiation 1 fatty initiation 2 and then the third one so these 2 and 3 meets in a form of a ridge here 1 and 2 form a ratchet here so here you can see the ratchet the rest of the fracture is a chevron fracture see here you can see round the clock brittle fracture concentrating towards the center so this is a 100% brittle fracture because the material is highly brittle so normally the tempered martensite is will be having more amount of toughness here untempered martensite you can see untempered martensite means white martensite has quenched martensite when martensite is quenched from the austenitic region rapidly you will be getting untempered white martensite so this untempered martensite is highly brittle its hardness also is very high it will be around 65 rc hence you can see this type of a brittle fracture around the clock brittle fracture that is the fracture propagating throughout the circumference from 0 to 12 o'clock like this so this is a case of fatty crack propagation in a shaft see here the beach marks are very very smooth when the beach marks are very very smooth then you can immediately say that so there is some problem in the microstructure say the microstructure may be coarse grained because if it is very coarse grained means normally the beach marks will be very very smooth it will be coming like this only and also one more thing is here in this uh, photograph you can see that the fatty crack has propagated due to a notch problem a shaft having a very notch very curved notch is there so this notch will give the notch effect on the material so the stress intensity factor along the notch will be very very high so normally a fatty crack is easy to propagate along the notch area so normally what they do is in, in industry they used to properly maintain the notch areas they used to clean the notch areas they have to see visually periodically they have to see uh, whether is there any fretting because fretting is a corrosion fretting corrosion is very very common in shafts where there are journals are fitted along the notches so there fretting corrosions are very very common so whenever there is a fretting corrosion automatically what will happen the next stage is fatigue only the fatigue will be very very fast so in this case you can see that fatigue crack is very very fast so it is coming from one particular area to the last and in a very smooth manner that you can see the beach marks this one is something different it is a sub case fatigue fracture this is a bulgir teeth the surface is hardened to around 55 rc and the surface is very hard so the fatty crack starts propagating inside the component inside the component this is called sub case fatty this goes unnoticed in several cases this goes unnoticed without the knowledge of the mechanical people this is spalling in the case of some bearings 
see here you can see the spalled area this is the spalled area and two fatty cracks have propagated simultaneously from the origin of the spalled area here one and this one is two so this is a somewhat a rapid failure this uh, fatty crack propagation in this particular type of uh, failure is very very rapid very fast now let us discuss about something about chevron fracture here you can see half v shaped fracture is not a full v it's a half v shaped fracture occurring in a cylinder see you can see the lines or array of lines traveling from one particular direction only so this type of fracture is very very faster than the conventional type of chevron fracture that is full v chevron fracture so this is a fast rapid fracture this is chevron fracture full v the origin of the fracture is here here the corner is very very sharp hence the design problem is there in this particular material so since the it is a corner is very very sharp the chevron fracture starts from this particular portion and then radiates in the form of v shape fracture there are some fractures which are highly influenced by corrosion see here normally you can see in springs will fail because of fatigue fracture only here this is a different uh, case a spring has failed because of a brittle fracture a chevron fracture how come see here lot of pits are there on the surface of the spring and uh, they are the they are called as filiform corrosion this type of corrosion is called filiform corrosion and you can see there is a pit here very the pit of very larger size so this is the pit of very larger size and from there you can see a chevron fast fracture emanating from the pit this is a case of multi nuclei fatty crack propagation in the in a case of a bulgir the crack is propagating at a very faster rate it starts from the trough of the gear and it's progressing towards the center of the gear in such a way that you can see lot of ratchet marks see lot of ratchet marks are seen 1 2 3 4 5 so lot of ratchet marks are there these ratchet marks are individual fatty converging at a particular point cold set in a casting is revealed by the fracture feature of river pattern see here you can see a river pattern emanating from the cold set area so this is the cold set area oxidized area and from the oxidized area you can see fibrous river pattern emerging from the cold set area so from this you can conclude that this failure is due to the manufacturing defect called cold set intergranular brittle fracture here the surface is highly crystalline a zigzag crack starts propagating from the surface and penetrates deeply into the material when a piece of sample is cut and examined in a microscope the grain size was found to be astm grain size 2 normally steel samples having very large grains of astm 1 2 or 3 they won't support any load it will eventually break so conclusions interpretation of fracture features without the aid of optical microscope and having practical knowledge in describing with the help of fracture features how the part failed is the best decoding technique of failure analysis practiced in many of the developed countries like us uk etc this interpretation from the macro scale point of view needs exhaustive case studies 
based on the fracture modes and its initiation for different mechanical components and materials friends this is an educational video in support of mechanical engineers employed in the automobile industry if you like my videos please subscribe thank you